hottest topic, uh, well, one of the hottest topics, I should say, <laughs> over the weekend was about the journalist who took to social media to condemn the treatment of a lady during her recent parade over the alleged impersonation of the First Lady at the DSS office in Abuja as an act of undemocratic uh, behavior. According to him, a suspect is supposed to be paraded once proven guilty by a court of law. Now, we'd like to really hear our viewers' thoughts on it because for, for many people, this looks normal because when somebody is accused, remember when um, the house boy recently, yeah. he wasn't convicted, but he was just, just a suspect mm -hmm. and he was paraded and nobody objected to that. So mm -hmm. for, for the average man, it's normal. But when this um, journalist put this up, People started having that conversation, like, was this right? Was, could it, could, that means what we're used to is actually wrong. Mm -hmm. But let's hear your comments and thoughts on it. You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. So because you're here, Nima, I want to start with you. Mm -hmm. For us, as, a, as, a, as an average citizen, oh, somebody, they, went, they, they paraded, they went to a club, they picked up some boys, and they carried them, and they took them to police. Next morning, they're parading them. We see they have we see their pictures, and for us, that's normal. So when this this guy raises this issue, we were wondering, ah, what's the big deal? Abuse of the, the issue, is it how is it how is it an abuse? Every parading of any suspect before trial or conviction is is against the person's human rights, and it can be enforced. Right, that's mm -hmm. wrong. So that's the general rule. But on this particular, I mean, uh, what's her surname? The Amina Villa mm. lady. Mm. The circumstances of this parade is even more more demeaning and degrading because she f was obviously at the DSS office fighting to not to cover that identity, and the DSS just sat back and let the journalists have a field day. Now these are the journalists who are pressmen who insist on rights on their papers and their television station talk about abuses that they suffer, go on social media, post videos. They did that to that woman. The woman kept insisting, I'm innocent. This is not a crime. This was legitimately done. All those options were not exhausted, and they tore at her veil, pushed at her. So, so my question, therefore, is who should have stopped this? Is it the DSS, course, the journalist? Who should, know, who should have known better? Royal is she's in the DSS custody. So it is expected that while you might want to mention that we've arrested someone for impersonation, you don't subject her to... Um, brutality and yeah, harassment defense. because that was what she got she Hi. was being harassed now it reminds me of when evan's case happened and i i asked ivy Kalu. i said ivy this guy what why, why were they the way they were putting the mics in his face and they were asking him questions, so did you kill them did you shoot the man i said so why why are you allowed to ask him questions like that when he is not on trial he's just being he's not even it wasn't for they just caught him as he was being taken in that is that right I'm happy a journalist is speaking up concerning this because layman, we just think that every, it happens to everybody, but it shouldn't happen to everybody. Right. People should be respected and innocent until actually proven guilty. So even, Less even, media even trials. because of Evans, it was, was, was saying yes. that it was wrong. People should never be, that's what you're saying, right? That yeah. it was wrong. I I'd like to really hear our viewers' thoughts on it. Let me hear okay, um, this is enlightening for me because <laughs> Uh, like in movies we see, or in both movies, they bring like um, microphones to your face and the suspect can say no comment or the lawyer steps in front of the suspect and says, I don't want mm -hmm. to speak that's up. Oibo. Yes, that's Oibo. So um, it now brings to mind, there's a group of boys that were paraded by mm. the police some they months ago. Guy. Yeah, they, they didn't cut me. So he had the right to talk to the, um, to the journalist yeah. So he decided to talk. That was fine. So putting them on TV and that was that wrong? That was wrong. And we've, a lot of groups have called uh, 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 the police out on this, that they should stop parading suspects. So we ha once you ha close, you have a tight case. See, Evans is taking us forever. And the guy is in court already because he has money and he's, he's enlightened. Suing them for, for fundamental rights abuse. This is but what we talk about. Abroad, they do, Every time they do mock shots. Mug shots, yes. those are for when police, are if that's for like, like a, a criminal record. Once you've been arrested, mug yeah, shots, you arrested. Mug shots. So you can take your picture and put it even that's before for, trial. That's for, that's for police record. That's not on TV, that's not on newspapers. Mm. Okay. Let me take what this call. Had, Let me take this call. Morning, are you there? Thanks for calling. Hello, good morning, my Good morning, go ahead, please. Um, I'm a contribution to this day. We could learn our lesson because it's not good to somebody the parents and said, in yes, and I say, lady. Even at this person now, you don't tell somebody money now, they go say, ah, Dina, uh, our president wife, she then looted somebody's money. So the thing because people are mad at that. But you know, good, what in the, what they, they, they do is not good. 
to do. We are very, very embarrassing to me, but yeah, okay. I say crime, a crime, yeah. Thank you very much. It's just talking about how embarrassing it is to find out you're, you're being paraded when you might not actually be guilty, which we, we cannot deny that it's happened. Um, beyond just talking about this, though, because the person tweeted the information, can we have a proper case so that there is, it goes through the courts and we will now have, like, Nima, is there, has this been in any way precedence. addressed legally that we'll have a precedence against so this happening we again? We do. We have precedence on fundamental rights abuse. Plenty of them. Concerning and parade. the one Evans is putting in court now mm. stands a chance of winning. Although the courts have said he should continue with trial and all that. Mm. But on that right something. abuse, the fact that you know you are brought out in the open and God forbid, on behalf of the police now, that mm. he's acquitted. Hmm. You want to so try can actually out sue. Uh, he's already in court. On right. that, on okay, that so let me ask you a question. So if a citizen is arrested mm. and that citizen says, I am no. guilty, I'm not, I'm not guilty. Of mm. course. That person should rights should be protected. But if that one confessed that yeah, or you're caught in the act, they actually mm. saw you like yeah. some kill of somebody. The of the parade so you are you're actually guilty and it's whole heart proven. Like mm. the Saraki. And they parade that person even without him going to court. Exactly. Mm. No, I see it since they shouldn't parade. They right. should simply go to trial. Yeah. They yeah. should yeah. simply yeah. go ahead well, and we'll bring prosecute. in maybe uh, our police expert and DSS. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 So we have help us like I know that um the breakfast show so and whether TV a person confesses or not had um, him. Human rights law, mm -hmm. yeah, family, not helping us understand, but we need our own visas to also understand what the real correct what are your process rights? is, so that we know. Because listen, we, le we learn everything. And beyond, journalists should be cordial and be kind, yes, and yes. you can get your information without harassing someone. The woman wanted her face protected. What was your own business in opening up her face and pulling her veil off? And just you have her name. <laughs> she's answered your questions. Let her be yes. if she wants to cover her face. The lady in the video, the one in black, who. Obviously, pulled, pulled her up, pulled her with the veil, pulled and embarrassed her in such a way. I think she should first of all f f slam her a good Why suit. are you? <laughs> see, I, that, that, that was, was personally offended when people that was that woman. Exactly. Was so many, that was harassment. Exactly. That's the video. There are so many people that was, pulling no, that woman. No, 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 no. It wasn't just that woman. That no, woman. You see, it's Ryan. always easy to attack the, the other woman. Okay, let's leave it. Let's not make it about the other woman. But for this me, is, this is the so journal, journalists should know better. And just as Nima said um, previously, she said that uh, journalists who have even gone through this kind of abuse, you would expect that they would know better and understand mm. better abuses against human Male rights. And she, so this is her face. You know, so why the harassment? Why the, why the assault and battery on, on her person? Why did they have to this be This like was afterwards. This yeah. was before. This was before. They, they, you know, when, right. when she didn't notice. Right. Once she noticed the cameras on her, she tried to cover her face. And somebody just pull, kept pulling and assaulting this woman. Anyway, unfortunately, we have to wrap up on this. But as I said, we, we need to educate our viewers. Mm. So we're trying to bring in experts who know what the real procedure should be. Yeah. And they will enlighten us so you know your rights. Because mm -hmm. that's the idea. We want to, everybody to be aware. Even if you are guilty, what are your rights? Can you be paraded? That's going to be the question.